All right. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much. If you're new here, come in and check me out. Um, I really do appreciate it. My name is Melissa, also known as Green Eye Phoenix Alice here on YouTube. Um, I hope you guys will take a peek at the playlist and that you'll join the family. To my returning subscribers, you guys know how much I love and appreciate you guys so, so much. You guys know I love you. So I got sidetracked because I had to change my backdrop really quick. Like it literally... At any rate, hi guys, like hello, hello, hello. Um, I love you guys so much. Thanks for coming back. And um, we are going to be doing, I think I'm gonna do Aquarius. So hey Aquarius, welcome to your January love read for 2021. So what I've been doing um, is, and let me not forget to do the singing bowl because like, I'm gonna keep saying it in every video. I didn't get a chance to do this for Aries or Scorpio, I believe it was. And I was like so upset with myself. I was like, darn it. I was like, why? But at any rate, um, we're going to get right into it. Okay, sorry guys. As I was saying, I was talking. I, I say this a lot in a lot of videos as well. Like I'm trying to get myself together as far as like the recording. Because a lot of times through, I have to do it through my phone. And I always forget, people always say do like a do not disturb or whatever. I should probably try that. I'm going to try that later on and see how that works. But at any rate, my apologies, Aquarius. So welcome to your January 2021 love read. So what I've been doing, you guys, yeah, just in case. So yeah, really quick funny story. So about my backdrop, you guys have seen, you've seen that I have like the pretty like Greek goddess, you know, type of background or whatever. I woke up this morning and the whole thing fell off the, the wall. Like I was like, oh, damn it. I was like, okay. So I picked it up and put it aside because now I have to, I've literally tried Velcro. I've tried the command strip things. Like I've tried a bunch of things to keep this backdrop up. So it's not like I'm not trying, I am. So now that that stuff that I've had is not working, I have to devise another way. So for now, I was like, what the hell am I gonna do? So for now, improvising, okay. I have two file cabinets here and I have my portrait that my mom gave me for Christmas from the Eiffel Tower. I have that like standing on it so that you guys could actually see some sort of like nice, you know, at least it's something. But yeah, that was a pretty funny story. That shit was hilarious this morning. At any rate, let's get back into your reading, guys. Not my silly stories that happened this morning. So what I've been doing is I've been doing um, like you guys, Aquarius, right, who are in separation from someone. So I've been looking at those energies and that relationship. And then after that, then I've been looking at those of you who are actually in a relationship with somebody or a situationship, whatever it is, the, the person that you're thinking of coming to this video, that's what the energies I'm going to be trying to vibe off of on this side. All right. So I've been using oracles as tarot and then using tarot to clarify. I really like doing that. I don't know why. I like the other way too. I, I can do it any way, I guess. But it's just, I like to be, I like to just do different things and, and play around with different things. I don't know. I just like it. And it's been rocking with me and I've been keeping it as a theme for all of your guys' love reading. So I'm like, I'm not going to stop now. I also have charms too that I was going to incorporate, but I said I can't do it mid readings, you know, like I have to, it, one for all, like I have to start a different type of reading like series and then use the charms for everybody. I said, cause I can't really do it. Although for Scorpio and Aries, I did that with the singing bowl and I feel terrible. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure out a way to make it up to them. By the end of the week, I'm going to make it up to them. So Scorpio and Aries, I did not forget you guys. You're probably not clicking on this because you're not an Aquarius, but I did not forget you guys. I got your guys' back. I'm so sorry. I love you guys. All right. So let's see. For my Aquarius who are in separation from their person, tell me about this relationship. Tell me about this connection. Oh, no. No, no. Mm. I feel like that's a theme. That's been a theme for everybody who's in separation from someone. It's been like a theme. Like pay attention to the red flags. Like a lot of you are not, because I, what I'm picking up on is that, what I'm picking up on is that a lot of you, this is not the first cycle with someone. Like this is a repetitive cycle with somebody. And 
every single time, you know, depending on how many cycles you've been in with this person. I'm sensing not many, but for some of you, I'm sensing this might be like the third or fourth time that maybe you've been down this road with this person and you're just like, what the hell? So what I'm picking up is that like every time it comes back together, it gets a little better and better, but it's still not to the caliber and the level of what you want or expect. And so then you retreat, right? Yeah, for a lot of you, I'm picking up that this is really like the third or fourth time that you've done this cycle with this person. Like legit. It's literally been a lot of times that you've been in this cycle with this person. For some of you, it's been many, many years too. For some of you, this isn't recent. For some of you, this is like a really old like connection. Like you, like you guys have been down this path before. And now too, there's shadow work being done. People are trying to heal things from the past. People are trying to work to accomplish their dreams and, and want to be, you know, worthy of people, you know? That's what's a lot of what's literally factoring in, in the connection here that's in separation. It's a very like stable connection though. Not really feeling to be, if I'm being honest, Aquarius, not really feeling too much like lovey dovey dovey, but more of like a more of like this is the person that's gonna help me grow type of stuff. If that makes sense. Like this is the person that's gonna help me grow. And you'll have a good life together. It's not that I don't see a good life together. You guys will have a good life together. But if you're that type of person that's really looking for like a passionate, like very like passionate, erotic, like, like hands down, romantical, like emotional type of connection for like your life, then this is not for you. Then this is not your, your person because this is not that type of connection. This is more of the connection of like, you do love this person. You guys have love for each other. But it's more of like you guys work so good together that it's like, why not be together? Mm -hmm. But somebody right now, or the the recent past, actually, I would say the recent past because, hold on, I want to clarify some. All right. I forgot to do the singing bowl. So we're going to stop and we're going to do the singing bowl. So I did pull the cards, so now I'm just gonna clarify. But before I clarify any of this and we dig deeper into the day and relationship, I want you guys to close your eyes, all right? I want you guys to close your eyes and I want you guys to really, truly, honestly, wholeheartedly concentrate on the person that you are thinking about in regards to this particular reading. I want you guys to really sit and think about that person, all right? Try to empty out your mind. Try to really open up your heart and really see if you can think of that person like within your heart. And once you get them within your heart, I want you guys to think of like a really good memory that you have with this person. Like a really fun memory, something that maybe was special to you, something that meant something to you. Whatever, like what most special moment that you can remember with this person, I want you guys to think about, okay? So once you get that in your head, I want you to just take a deep breath and then breathe in and out and just listen to the singing bowl. Just from that, I could pick up on that vibe. I could pick up on that vibe that this is like a connection that's, I don't want to say out of convenience, but it's like a, it's a, it's like a, it's like a settling kind of, it's, it's settling, you know, and it, but it's not settling in the way of like settling for something bad. It's just settling, like meaning like you feel like you reached the end of your race and you're okay with that. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Like, like this person that you have this connection with here, it is a very strong connection. Absolutely. There's passion. There's love. Like, it's a very strong connection. It's just not one of those, like, movie romance connections, if that makes sense. This is more of a connection of understanding, working together, you know, um, really building together. This is that type of connection, like, having that equal give or take. But... There's a lot of people healing family stuff here too, though. And that could play a really big part as to whether or not you would feel like this person's stable for you. Let's see. What am I going to clarify? I'm going to clarify balance because it says one person's giving too much, which I do see that. I do see that. I feel like you, Aquarius, were the ones that were like really trying to like chase after this person, but this person's just more like in retreat mode. It's because they have a lot of stuff going on. They're realizing things. Like it's almost like meeting you. You made them start feeling things and then thinking about things and old things are coming up. So it's like a bunch of different things going on here with this person. Um, but this is a connection that they're saying that, you know, friendship now, being there for each other um, can lead to more. You know what I'm saying? But definitely... People are working on their money here. You know, people are just really trying to heal and just really try to blend with people. You know, this is like a person who's really just trying to blend in, you know, with the world. And it just probably creates a little bit of a damper on them. So let's see. Why is balance here? The emperor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because... You, Aquarius, it, it could be reversed, but you, Aquarius, is what I'm picking up on, that you guys, you're the ones that gave so much. Like, you were the ones that were very strategic in how you were trying to do things. Like, And maybe that's the problem. I feel like you were so strategic into trying to bring this connection together that I feel like you guys forgot about the passion, the heat, the ignition. Like, I think that's what was happening here. Like, it was just more of, like, very, like, you know, um, like, to the point, you know? Why is pay attention to the red flags here? Why is pay attention to the red flags here? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because it was almost like, you know, it, it, like you had to make a choice, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it, it, cause you did. You were paying attention to the different things every single time. You knew that it got better, but then it's like it got to a point. That's why I said that this is like the third or fourth cycle probably of this, because it finally got to a point where you you got somewhere and you're like okay it is a little bit better but it's just like it's still not enough you know what i'm saying like it's still not enough of what i want to see so that's the issue here for sure but this is like a third or fourth cycle for a lot of you and for some of you it's just recent and it's new and you're trying to figure it out you know like whether or not it's going to be doable with this person or whatever like or if you want to have a coming together again so you're thinking about it but for most of you yeah this is something that's been like three or four times like it's just over and over like it's like how many times are we going to do this why is yeah and i was because i was saying i was like should i do the regret one and then i said yeah let me do the regret so regret is clarified by the magician someone feels remorse for the way they treated you they're trying to fix it they want to manifest this back. They really, truly do. That's what I'm saying. They they feel like you're their person, like, that's just going to get them, that's going to be, like, that person that they could just really, like, you know, power the world through, and that it, it's not going to be terrible, you know? And they're okay with that, you know? They don't need to have this huge spark or whatever. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. Either way, they love you. They do love you. It's, I don't, I don't not feel the love. It's just not that... I don't know. It's just like not that heat love just yet. Do you know what I mean? Or it doesn't feel, or it hasn't been like that. Like it's like something either went awry or it was like that in the beginning and then it died. And it's just, it's like one of those. It's like one of those. And it's just, it's like, it's like there's, there's a hard time coming together back of like what, like how it's going to go down. It's just weird. It's like a weird, it's weird. It's weird. But it is. It's probably been like the third or fourth time that this has happened so let's see tell me more about this person that aquarius is dealing with that they are not in communication with let's see we're 13 minutes in. that's not bad mm -hmm. tell 
tell me more. Micah should be done with school soon. I know he's like dying to get off. Little does he know he still has work to do. And I'm like, oh Lord. I have work to do too. Yeah, you guys are in, well, obviously we know. It's just confirming that you guys are in separation right now. But yeah, and this is this is one of those things that you feel a lot of heartache and pain because you did feel, you did feel more lovey-dovey towards the beginning, but then it became this connection of just um, like stability. Do you know what I mean? And you, for one of you, whoever's feeling like that, that's not all you guys want. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to settle, but the other person's okay with settling and it doesn't settle well with you. It doesn't sit well with you in your stomach. You're just like, what, huh? You know, like, what? Like, why, you know? I don't know, Aquarius. You guys will have to keep me posted and let me know. Let's see, what rebel message do we have for my Aquariuses? Okay, it's hilarious. Shame, regret, and guilt. Those are all just bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go. That's why I said there's going to be a coming, a, a good, you know, like a coming around again of that. <laughs> Listen, sometimes in life, you ever notice how like sometimes people in life, you hear a lot of stories about people saying, I don't know. We just, you know, it's like we've been doing this for 20 years, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it's just like you keep wondering like why you do it. It's because like that's your person. It's like just they hang like, like leave the shit like they handle how the end that we would say in Spanish, like cut the shit just admit it be together be happy and move on but it's not that simple guys free will and all free will and all what monology card then i have libra after this libra 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 be bold and make the first move I don't know, Aquarius. And I do. I do feel like, Aquarius, you guys are the ones that want this because you guys are the ones that are okay with it being, like, that type of relationship. Like, you're okay. Like, you're the one that's like, listen, I don't care. Like, it's fine, you know? But then this person's like, no. So it's like, you're going to try again. It's going to come back around, like, where you're going to want to try again. All right? So those that's for those of you who are in separation from your person. Now, let's take a peek. At those of you who are in a connection with someone, Aquarius. Let's see. So for my Aquariuses who are in a connection with someone. You know what? We're going to just take them all. Oh, you guys got to be careful. See, this is like another scene. Ay, ay, ay. May not be what you want to hear, Aquarius, but at free will, free will. And this may not be your situation, so it may not be your message even. But if this is your message, this is not going to work out. This is just more of like a, like a sexual, physical thing. For some of you, whoever this is resonating for, this is like a very just... Very codependent, cool, very sexual, physical, like unrequited love. There's not enough to keep this going. It's literally just physical. It's a very physical relationship for whoever this is resonating for. Tell me more. Yeah, and they're telling you that it's time to disconnect from. The, yep, the timing's off with this. Yep. This is not. This is not the right time. See, I almost pick up on the fact that this is, because you know how like we always say like there's past, a present and future energy and stuff like that. So it's almost like I'm picking up on the fact that this particular situation is what causes whoever was in non-communication into retreat mode. You understand what I'm saying? Like poor timing. And then people just realizing it is codependent. There's not enough chemistry, like thinking about whether or not, like I was saying, remember like one of those, like one of those connections out of just convenience, like settling. Look at, yeah, forgiveness, retreat, and wait, the timing's not quite right. Um, time alone or in nature will help you recharge. And you got retreat, you got retreat, my God, retreat twice. You got that twice, that meaning that it's time to just disconnect and kind of go back. There's some 
past life stuff going on here too like like a uh, like not past life um like childhood stuff like there's a lot of childhood stuff going on here with this connection between the two of you and it and it bonds you together you know to kind of like be sad sometimes together but there's just literally it's just like passion playfulness like it's a lot of chemical like physical like energetically like that like charge but other than that it's just really a codependent relationship like this is not the relationship to stand the test of time it, it really isn't i mean i hate to say that but it's not it's definitely not and I don't, I don't pick up on any type of energy or vibe or anything from this person with you, Aquarius. Like, nothing. Like, it's almost like they know that this is just not right either. But because you guys have, like, this good connection physically, you think that you could make it stretch outwardly. And sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes, it, you know, sometimes we're just presented with things that we need at the moment. Maybe you need somebody to just bond with like that and release tension or whatever like and then th that's it or whatever but doesn't mean that all of that stuff always leads to somewhere that's higher level sometimes it just is what it is right that's this type of connection this is more of like a booty call type of you know connection yeah and there's just things you know like you guys get upset with each other then you love each other like it's just like it's one of those but it's just you guys know it's just there's no weight to it there's no weight to it why is codependency here Why is codependency here? Why is codependency here? Mm -hmm. because you guys want it's kind of probably like six o'clock because you guys you're like thinking you know like of when it was good you're thinking of the past you know you're thinking of stuff like that so it's like you you allow that to be the excuse to to have the comeback around you know like you allow that to be the excuse like remembering that it was good at one time about about like you're trying to forget all the bad but it's like you're not paying attention to the red flags like you're not paying attention to stuff you can't it's just time for you guys to retreat. And this is for those of you who are in the connection with somebody. Like, they're just saying this is not, it's not going to be the greatest connection. Like, it's going to lead down to, like, a bad road. And, you know, you're just going to find out that you're, ending up it, like, wasting time. Why is unrequited love here? Like, good memories are good and everything, but sometimes that's all you can hold on to, you know? They just become, like, a distant memory when all you can remember is the bad. And then you can't even remember the good. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, why is unrequited love here? It's funny how certain cards like shuffle certain ways. I don't know, I find it hilarious. Why is unrequited love here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the five of cups. Mm-hmm. Because it's like every time it like comes back around or whatever, it's like, you know, you do, you have that nostalgia. You know, you're thinking about stuff, you're thinking about it, you're like, oh, should I? You know, I don't know. Like I remember but then it's like, oh my God, like I remember what the hell that made me feel like after it was done and we broke up. Like, you know, it's just it's not for like a general reading right now, this is this is like not the person that you're meant to be with right now. It's just too codependent at the moment. Nobody's in their right headspace in order to really deal with whether or not they are really going to make this relationship last or if this is just something that's kind of like taking a trip or like a boat over to something else. Do you know what I mean? Like it's one of those. I mean, I hate to say that, of course, but that's what I... It's not for all of you. If it's not your message, it's not your message, but... Let's see. Tell me more about this person that Aquarius is dealing with that they are in communication with. I need a comfy chair. I really do. This is a professional chair, so it helps me sit up so that I could actually do like my to-do list and I don't feel like as tired and stuff. But to like sit and do readings, sometimes I sit here for like 30 to 40 minutes at a time, guys. Like honestly doing these reads i don't talk like like i legit sometimes just sit here legit 
for like 30, 40 minutes until I'm done. And I just need a comfy chair to sit in to do the reads. It hurts my back and my knees and stuff. Tell me more about this person that Aquarius is dealing with, that they are in communication with. <laughs> it's not going to stop them. That's hilarious. So... Aquarius, this person, right, they do, like I said, they do want a higher level of commitment. But what you guys have to realize is that it literally is just for settling. It's literally just settling. You guys are not really stretching yourselves to see how far you can go in life. Like it's just one of those, it's going to be one of those engagements and marriages that's just out of convenience for the time being because it's codependent. And then down the line, you realize, nope, this is actually not what we want. So just be weary of the red flags. Listen, free will and everything so you guys can do what you choose and do what you please. And I bid you adieu and good luck with everything. But just be super mindful and just really listen to your intuition and listen to your gut. Because then you'll know. You'll know. Okay? So just be mindful of this. Okay? Okay, Aquarius? Like, please just be mindful of this. Let's see. What rebel message do we have for my Aquariuses who are in communication with their person? I gotta fix these cards. They're like backwards, forwards. They're just the whole nine. Yep. Stop obsessing. You're not the fucking center of the universe. Hilarious. And a monology card. Let's see what we get for you guys. Monology for Aquarius. Adjustments are required. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, it's not that it's not lovey-dovey. I keep saying it. It's not that it's not lovey-dovey. It's just that it legit, you guys are looking for it in the wrong place. You guys are not really truly realizing and understanding that there has to be lots and lots of passion behind stuff you know and it has to be consistently not just every once in a while at any rate that was your reading for january 2021 aquarius i hope you guys enjoyed that i hope it resonates um please let me know keep me posted and i will see you next month for your love reading for february bye love you guys